Hi everyone, Murdoch here, hope you're well. Now in this video I want to explain and show you very simply what the firm left side is. The firm left side is something you may have heard of in golf, it spoke about quite a bit, and it's obviously for a right-handed golfer. Firm left side describes what the body feels on a compressed strike. Where the body is when you hit a proper compressed ball turf hit. So you can simulate this feeling yourself. Now you might be waiting on a tee, you might be by a tree, you might be just indoors. Any firm fixed to the ground object you can simulate this yourself. Any iron, 7 iron maybe is probably best. You can do it with a driver too once you know what you're looking for. But I've got an 8 iron here. I'm going to stand as if I'm addressing the ball where the foot of this wall is here. My shoulders, my hips, my knees, my feet are all parallel. And I've got the club head addressing where a ball would be at the foot of the wall. Now I want you to just think about this for a second before you immediately jump in and do it. You've got to understand that your shoulders will determine the path is on through impact. So don't cheat, I'll come back to this in a minute. But I want you to imagine now that you're driving that club head into the wall, bending that shaft by staying behind the wall. So your left ear is kind of on the wall. So from front on here in this position, I want you to imagine that the edge of the wall here is where your left side of the face is. And I want you to drive that club head into the wall by turning the hips. Now, if you've done my plumb bob drill and my turn drill, you'll experience while doing this the active off the feet that you'll be in a good golf swing, the driving off the instep. So here we are, feet, knees, hips, shoulders, all starting parallel. Keep your shoulders parallel to your feet, staying behind the wall, and turn that left hip. Feel the pushing off the instep as you drive that left hip. Keep your shoulders parallel though, and stay behind. You'll feel immediately up the shaft, up your left side, to the high shoulder here, as your right one stays down. Can you see how my right elbow's tucked in? Keep turning that hip, keep turning that left hip. You'll feel the pushing off the instep. You'll feel the weight moving to the edge of the left shoe, heel area. Keep your shoulders parallel now and stay behind it. Really drive, really drive. Hold that for a second. Feel that left side. Can you feel how you're in a, a dynamic version of my plumb bob drill? That's the firm left side in my interpretation. Imagine now when you perform this, so do it slowly, gradually increasing that power. Imagine the golf ball getting in the way of that. It's kind of like a boxer's knockout punch where they've got their body weight behind the glove. There's speed and power behind it. So in golf, you're driving in and there's the firm left side. There's the compression as you stay behind your plumb bob. So when you're waiting for a green to clear and you've got a, a fixed object, maybe the wheel of your golf cart, you can put the club head against it and do this. It puts the focus on what you can control as a golfer and that's your commitment to the strike. I love that saying, commit to the strike. If you think about that, that's all you can control as a golfer. It's all about putting a good movement on it in order to do that. Don't care where it goes until you've done a good move with a good strike. You'll get a thrill out of the hit and quite often, nine out of ten times anyway, you'll find it going down to your target. So I went, I mentioned the shoulders. So don't cheat. If you're a little stiff, if you're struggling with a a slicey move in the swing, can you see I'm leaning in, produces an over the top, and that's a slap, it's a cast, you don't hold the angles when you do that. So be careful when you're making this move and you're using mirrors maybe to help you or you're filming yourself, I don't want you to do this. Can you see I've lent in, 
I've lent into my wall, I've moved forward with my head, I've tried to hit it with the shoulders. So from front on, can you see how instead of staying behind driving like so, you're moving in this way. Can you see when you do that, you'll create the steep angle. You might hit the ball first, but the path, because the shoulders are now open, because the shoulders are now open, can you see that will be the steep across shot that if you release and commit to is solid bullet low left. A lot of people will hit that shot and then to avoid it on the next tee, they're leaning up. There's the face open for the slice. So this is a common one. This is why if you feel like you do that, watch my plumb bob video to learn how to stay behind it in the process as you learn about this firm left side. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, it's a nice focus on committing to the strike. This is the first part of my series this year, just so you're all aware of what you're capable of and then get you excited about hitting some solid golf strikes. So any questions, please leave below. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.